So hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here and today I'll be doing another slight microscope modification and specifically I'd like uh, to replace uh, this slide holder here uh, with this cardboard slide holder and why I'm doing that? Well, uh, let's uh, read the question from one of my viewers first and then um, it'll become clear. So here we go. I am a beekeeper and I get a valuable source of specimens to observe under the microscope from the fields and hives, hives as you can imagine. The most interesting for me is palynology, which is the study of pollen, both gathered from the plants and from the hives. My question is, how can I do some comparison microscopy without swapping the slides each time? I have an Omax M82 microscope with a standard mechanical stage. A proper comparison microscope is well out of my budget and league. My normal way of preparing a slide is to put the specimen in the center. This does not allow two slides to be together on the stage side by side, as the XY travel is not great enough to cover both subjects. I occasionally get samples of pollen that look very similar to another. I would like to compare these with known specimens from the library of slides that I've made. Could you offer some advice please? Many thanks for your informative and interesting channels. Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for your question. And indeed, this is a problem that I'm quite well aware of. The problem is, for those of you who do not fully understand the question, that uh, this slide holder here on the microscope uh, stage, which can be found on the stage here, in many cases is able to, to hold two slides next to each other, but the travel is not large enough that you're able to observe both slides. I have to tell you, I do not know why microscope manufacturers can make such a yeah, design mistake, really, because all you have to do is, is you have to modify uh, this a little bit here. There is too much metal over here. You have to remove this a little bit and then um, it would work perfectly. I'm going to show you now what I mean. And then, um, yeah, honestly, the answer is quite simple. <laughs> you have to replace it with a cardboard a slide holder. Um, and uh, I'm just going to show you what I've done here. And I hope that this gives you some kind of, uh, yeah, inspiration to try it out yourself. So this here is the way that it should be. This is my good Olympus microscope and uh, both slides can be put into the slide holder and you see that I have the full travel. I'm able to center both slides. So even more than enough space here. And um, this way I can compare uh, both slides. Uh, so I can put a reference slide next to, to the one that I want to observe. And this one is the bad example here that's another microscope and look uh, over here it already stops i'm not i'm not able to put the second uh, microscope slide directly beneath the objective so i'm only able to observe one slide um, even though the slide holder is able to hold two so this is really a badly designed thing and and uh, i wonder how the company could have overlooked it so i decided uh, to replace uh, this slide holder with a cardboard slide holder Again, I think uh, cardboard is really not uh, the material of choice. Um, the cardboard was not sufficiently stiff. Um, and uh, I'll show you later that there were indeed a whole bunch of problems with it. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I still yeah, want, want to show it to you because it's a proof of concept and then you can improve on that. So I've used uh, the slide holder as a template, especially to make uh, the two holes, the two dots, therefore the two screws. Then I used uh, the glass slides uh, to trace out uh, everything so that I know how big I should cut it out. And I uh, simply added a little bit more uh, cardboard on the side here and I simply uh, estimated everything because I simply wanted to check uh, whether it actually works, works out in the first place or not. Um, I used uh, a very sharp knife uh, to cut out everything. Um, yeah, that's um, of course possible. What I would probably do in the future is, is I'd probably use some some plastic maybe. Um, I mean, I do also have a 3D printer. I don't know if it's really worth the 3D printing everything. Yeah, so that's a prototype. So here, here we go. I put the two screws back in here and into the holes uh, that I've uh, made here. Everything goes again on the microscope uh, stage and um, we're ready to test it out. And as a matter of fact, yes, uh, it kind of worked. <laughs> um, I was able to center now both uh, slides, as you can see. Unfortunately, the slide holder, the cardboard slide holder was not completely flat. Uh, and therefore, um, it was not able to move the slides very well. And some of sometimes the slides slipped a little bit beneath uh, the cardboard uh, holder. Um, and uh, this actually means that, uh, yeah, you have to, as you see over here, you have to make sure that it's completely flat. Um, 
again, it's only a proof of concept. And then I realized something. And what I realized is, well, well, why don't I just put it across like this? I mean, there is now a small distance between the condenser and the slide, but that is okay. Um, it's possible to lower the condenser a little bit and you still get a sufficiently good quality. Yeah, but that is actually the solution that I would uh, prefer. And uh, after I've done that, I realized that there is yet a simpler solution, um, which uh, one might try out. And that is, is you simply um, put two slides in there and then put the others across like this. Yeah? Of course, you have to make sure that the two slides that you put in are reasonably clean. Um, yeah, and it also works. It also works, yeah. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. And um, yeah, you can comment. Uh, um, maybe you have other suggestions as well. But that's uh, essentially all I wanted to share with you. And now you can compare both slides. So I think uh, that's enough. I know it was a little bit improvised, uh, but the point is, is that uh, um, I just wanted to show it as a proof of concept. Uh, yeah, maybe you want to use a different material than cardboard. Um, well, in any case, uh, I would like uh, to wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.